And Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem and a lot of things happened in that week. It, it he, he was on a, a mule and he was accosted by a lot of people. A whole crowd came together. And since this is Palm Sunday, the day on which that happened, um, I want to share this with you. Matthew 21, this great crowd spread their garments in the way. They cut down branches from the trees and spread them in the way. And the crowds went, bef who went before, and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David, blessed is he, he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And the whole city was moved, but yet a couple of days later, they crucified him. And those same people were in that crowd. And there might have been so many who yelled, crucify him, crucify him. So it is such a fickle thing to have that type of popularity from mere mortals because they can change so quickly. And that brings me to what I want to discuss with you. There are so many voices going up. Opinions abound. There are articles, um, videos, WhatsApp messages all over about this COVID-19 virus. And everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a thought on where it comes from, why it is spread, what is happening, the agenda surrounding it. And people are talking about 5G. They're talking about a bioweapon. They're speaking about... Uh, governments with an agenda or the end times and each one believe themselves they they believe they are right and many jump on the bandwagon many people just send these things around and they believe this and that and I tell you just just like that so many people have a theological opinion about this and that is actually more scary. But when you go back to the Bible and you focus on what the Lord has said, what Paul has written, you will see it's not a new thing. Because the same type of things with many, many voices going up were then very prevalent as well. So I'm going to read to you in 2 John 1, 7. What John wrote, he said, For many deceivers have entered the world who do not confess Jesus Christ coming into the flesh. This is the deceiver and the spirit of the Antichrist. Look to yourself so you may not lose those things which you have worked out, but that you will receive the full reward. So many people around you, people who were believers, they just don't acknowledge God anymore. People are, there's, it's more and more prevalent, more and more that you hear it, that people just refuse to even consider God as an option. And they deny him. But in Luke 21, 8, Jesus said, Take heed that you are not deceived. For many shall come in my name and say, I am. Also the time has come, but do not go after them. So I want to come with this warning. I want to come and challenge you because Paul wrote to Timothy, his, his spiritual son, he says, but the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and to teachings of demons. And later to the Hebrews he wrote, do not be carried about with different and strange doctrines. For it is good for the heart to be established with grace, not with foods, in which those who have walked in them were not helped. And the previous scripture says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God hasn't changed. Jesus hasn't changed. His opinion hasn't changed. His love for you is still the same. And I want to tell you that the theology, the knowledge of God, 
because it's a human thing that has changed. People is there has got a lot of reasons, agendas, and they you you see this whole lockdown as an equalizer because everybody has to go online, and nobody can harness all the hundreds and thousands of members. But we are put in the same position where we have a message of hope which we can spread and go back to the Bible and believe what the Word of God says and not be drawn about by all these different voices. And I want to just read the scripture to you because the New Testament is about 10 scriptures which talk about being sober. It's not talking about alcohol. It's talking about sober thinking. Think. That was one of the things my father used to tell us when we were small. Think. And I want you to think for yourself, not believe everything that you hear. Um, let the Holy Spirit lead you. And read Romans 8 verse 5. Verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds according to the things of the Spirit. And in Colossians he writes, Keep your mind, set your mind on things that are above, not on the things that are on the earth. Do not be carried about with different and strange doctrines. Do not, be, do not worry about all these things. You do what is necessary. Stay at home. Keep safe. Seek the Lord with everything in you. Send out the good message of the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will see a vast difference in your approach and in that which you believe. Whatever heightens your fear, whatever stirs up your fear, that cannot be from God. So let's pray together. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you that we can call upon your name in a time like this and ask you, to close our ears to every opinion except yours, to open our ears to the Holy Spirit, that we can discern and know what is from you and what is not. Just keep us focused on you and on the word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.